Hello everybody in Primary 6, how are you and how is everything? Today we are going to have also our grammar lesson in module 4 and it's called Future Simple and Future Perfect Simple Tense. Let's go and see what we are going to have here in slide 1, the first one that we have. As you see here we have will and going to. So these are what we use in uh, expressing the, the future tense. So, will and going to. For example, number one. If you see will here, why do we use it? We use will to express future actions decided at the moment. It means that you don't have a plan for it. Of speaking or a promise. For example, when I say, Okay, I'll be there. Or, I've got a headache. Have you? Wait here and I will get you an aspirin or I will get an aspirin for you. Means that you are talking about something and I am taking an action now and telling what am I going to do now or what I will do right away. And secondly, why do we use will also? We use it to predict future. What's mean to predict future? means that you are going to tell me what is going to happen in the future, but this is according of your opinion. It doesn't have any clues or doesn't have any base to stand on. So this is your opinion and you are going to talk to me according to this. So you are going to say, I think or I believe or I'm not sure you are going to use these expressions while expressing uh, um, the future or the production that you are going to say. You are going to say, do you think um, uh, the exam is going to be um, on Monday? You are going to tell me, I'm sure that you are going to pass the exam. Can, am I say that you are going to pass the exam? No, I have to say, I'm sure you will pass the exam. You don't have any evidence. Okay, so you are going to say, um, I suggest, or I think, or I believe that you will pass the exam. Also, if you have, uh, you don't see anything in the sky, and it's a clear sky, so you can't see any clouds or something like this, maybe you tell me, I think it will rain today. So you don't have any evidence. So I'll ask you, why do you think this? You said, just uh, is an opinion, just feeling. Okay. Let's go to uh, going to uh, the same slide that we have here. Look at the second slide that we have. We have going to. And of course, you have to use am or is or are before using going to. Then it has to be followed by the main verb. Here, going to expresses future plans decided before the moment of speaking or before the moment of talking. Tom has bought a movie ticket. So, which means that he has planned to go to watch the movie. He is going to see a movie. That's why I say he is going. Why? Because he uh, went uh, off of his uh, home and go and bought these tickets. Means that he planned to do, to do so. And number two, express uh, a prediction based on present evidence. Means that you have, a, uh, um, you have um, a clue or you have an evidence, that's why you are predicting something. For example, if uh, you have a friend and he is in a medicine uh, school, so you're going to say, he is going to be a doctor because he is in a medicine school, he's, go he's not going to be a pilot or something like this. There are black clouds in the sky, it is going to rain. So you are predicting that it is going to rain because you have evidence. Let's go to the other slide here that we have. We have going to and will and the formation of both of them and how we're gonna form each one of them. We have am, is and are plus going to and as we said should be followed by verb in stem. So let's see this example that we have here. He bought the tickets. He is going to take a bus. And he is not going to take a bus. Why? Because he didn't or he didn't buy any tickets. This equal that. 
He planned to take the bus. Let's go to will and verb in stem. Will also should be followed by the verb in stem. He's late. I think he will take the bus. So he, she, and it, they, I, we, you, take will or won't plus the verb in the stem. So the last example that we have here, he won't open the window. It's too cold. That's obvious in the picture that we have here. Let's go to the third slide that we have. I want you to answer these questions here. Have you got any plans for tomorrow? If I say plans, it means that you decided to do something, which means that we are going to use going to. Yes, I am going to visit my aunt. So that's why I used here going to because this is a plan. And number two here. Why is she learning Spanish? It means that she's doing something because she has something else or she has a plan for something else. She's going to travel to Spain. So she planned or she arranged to travel to Spain. That's why she is studying Spanish. And let's go to number three in this slide here. We are thirsty. Now we are thirsty. Are you going to have a plan to get water? Of course not. Wait here, I will get you some water. Number four, meat or fish? I'm asking right now, so you have to answer me right now. You are not planned to get any one of them. I will have some fish, please. And number five, what do you want the keys for? The answer, I will close the door. I want the keys now because I will close the door now. Okay, so let's go to the other slide that we have here. Number six, if you don't take a taxi, you won't arrive on time. Number seven, why do you want so many oranges? So the answer here should be, I'm going to make an orange juice. It means that I arranged or I planned to do orange juice, but I didn't find oranges, so that's why I told you I want so many oranges. Let's go to uh, number eight. Oh, I haven't got enough money to play. Uh, sorry, I haven't got enough money to pay. Don't worry, I'll lend you some. It means that it's happening now and you are going to lend me some money now. Number nine. We need one more player. You are going to play with us tomorrow. Okay, if we didn't say tomorrow, maybe you are going to use will here because we are talking about it this time. But when you say tomorrow, so you have to use are going to because we are planning with you now. Number 10, why are you switch? <clears throat> sorry, why are you switching on the TV? I say, I will watch a football match. So I'm doing this now. It means that you are doing an action which is happening right now. You don't plan for it. Let's go to the future perfect simple in the next slide. How do we use the future perfect simple? To talk about action that will be completed before a specific time or another action in the future. The verb describing the second action is in the present simple. Let's go to this uh, example here. She will have returned by this time or by the time you leave. Okay. She will have returned. It means that she hasn't returned yet. But what will happen when you leave? When you leave, she will have returned here. So you won't see her and she won't see you because you left and she returned. What are the keywords? By plus a point in time or by the time or by then or before or by this time tomorrow or next week. And the form, how are we going to form it? Subject plus will and have and plus the past 
participle. Okay, can we say will has? No, we can't because will should be followed by the verb in the stem. So we have to say will have only. As we see here in this picture, by my graduation time, I will have gained lots of money. Okay, you are working before your graduation time and then you are going to gain lots of money, which means that by graduation time, when you reach to your graduation time, you will have gained lots of money, which means that this happened before your graduation time. Now let's go to the other slide here. The negative form, subject, plus will not, and most of the time we say want, plus have also, and past participle. You will not have perfect your, uh, sorry, you will not have perfected your English by the time you come back from the States. It means that you have to stay more to make your English perfect. And let's go to the same slide here. We have the interrogative form. Question word plus will, subject, have, and past perfect also. What will you have studied by the end of this week? Okay, you are at the beginning of the week. And I tell you, what will you have studied by the end of this week? So you are going to tell me uh, what you are going to finish or what you are going to cover the whole week. Tell Thursday, even if you didn't reach it for now. Okay, that's all for our lesson for today. Hope you uh, gained many, many information, uh, sorry, much information, and I hope you understood everything. See you next time, and bye.